reported. Uh, good evening, I'm Robert Schuler, and I want to welcome you to Vital Living Monthly. That's right, I said Vital Living Monthly, also known as, historically known as The Call, which we've been doing for over, what, six years yeah, now? It's six been and a half long years. time. Mm -hmm. And this is part of our Robert Schuler Ministries, a church with no walls, and at our Vital Living Ministry. Uh, on, on this podcast, we read the Bible, we pray, uh, we talk about the impact our faith has in our lives and on the lives of others. So we interview inspiring guests, and tonight we have a very inspiring guests. And we have to give you, uh, we, we are here to give you inspiration, encouragement, and hope. So uh, sh uh, we want you to share this podcast with others. Absolutely, please do. And this is Donna Schuler, and good evening, and thank you again for joining Robert and I on this Vital Living Monthly. I like the sound of that, honey. Um, our goal is to help you learn more about yourself, others, and God. And if you're on the phone call right now and would rather see us, just go to Robert Schuler Ministries' Facebook page, because we're live right now. And, or you can listen and watch later on the Facebook page as well. It'll be posted there, and it'll also be posted on our Robert Schuler Ministries YouTube channel. And, you know, once you post something, it goes on there forever and ever and ever and ever. So, um, anyway, so I hope you will uh, go on and subscribe at our YouTube channel. And also, like us and, what is it, follow on Facebook. And that'll help a lot, a lot. It, does, it doesn't seem like that helps, but in this world we live in, all those likes and follows, they mean something in the business slash ministry world. So please do that. Um, and if you see something on our Facebook page that you like, share it. Yes, please. Share yes. it. Please share it with yeah, all, thank your, you. all I, your friends. I didn't mention that. Uh, we like to answer questions on this call, so if something comes up for you, we either write them in the Facebook comment. Sometimes we can see it. Yeah, it's, we can see that tonight. We can get there, or you can call. Uh, if you're on the, the call, you've, if you've called in, then all you do is push the star and the six button at the appropriate time when we take questions. And I'm sure our guest, uh, which we'll be introducing in just a few short minutes, or my husband or myself will be happy to answer your questions. So... Back to you, Robert. Yeah. Well, one of the things you didn't mention was yes. was pray.com. No, that comes up in, in And the reason I bring that up is we we were praying on .com, pray.com. Yes. Back when the hurricane was a was a category 4 and was it, we're talking about Florence, of course, and it looked like it was going to completely destroy everything. Uh, we prayed. We prayed the the prayer we prayed was please downgrade this storm. So it's not as devastating. So the winds are not as strong. And uh, I think God answered our prayers. I really think he did. If you're one of the, the, the families who lost someone, that's really tragic. And it's yes, just it as bad for, for you as ever. And we, want, and we pray for, for you that you'll find some comfort. But I believe for the most part, we have to say that God answered our prayers and uh, the, there's some knockdown trees and there's some flooding, but uh, thanks be to God, I think we're, we're, it's not going to be another, uh, another devastating Katrina or some of the other mm -hmm. horrible, horrible hurricanes that took thousands of lives, which could be. That's important. So, <clears throat> it's important. so anyway, thank you for I'll, mentioning that. So we want to, we want to, we believe in the power of prayer. Uh, that's why we have our, our Pray.com community, and Donna's going to be saying some more about that in a minute. Um, but we, we, and because we believe in prayer, we like to pray. <laughs> so we want to ask you to join us for a time of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you that we can gather together around the world and join our hearts and our hands together in prayer. For we know that where two or three are gathered together in your name, there you are. And so you are here spiritually with us. Even though we are not together physically, we are together spiritually. And so hear our prayer, O Lord. And we come to you with right now with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for all you're doing in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls. We pray for those who... Who, who, those families tonight who are who, who are facing the loss of a loved one, 
who are facing the loss of property. We pray for those who are, who are facing the loss of, uh, of their freedom and, or other challenges that they face. Be with them, O oh Lord. As they face their mountains, may they find the strength to be able to overcome the obstacles that are in their way, that they might be able to come, be drawn to you and use your power to succeed. And so we come before you in this time of thanksgiving and this time of prayer, realizing that together uh, we can overcome all of our obstacles and nothing is impossible with you. Mm -hmm. We love you, Lord, and we praise your name. Amen. Amen. So um, I have been talking about creation over the last few weeks on Sunday mornings. And uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to be talking about uh, uh, sky mm -hmm. uh, on my on my message. But uh, today, since I've been talking about creation... A little hint. A little hint. Our guest comes from somewhere that has a big, big sky. <laughs> The big and it's sky, not. It's huh? not what you're thinking, but it's close. <laughs> it's, it, it, yes, it's a. It's that was a little hint. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I might have um, <laughs> get, given too much of that hint away. Sorry. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm going to read the creation story from Genesis, and I pulled out the 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 New King James version <laughs> because I like the New King James version of the creation story better than some of the others. It's. Um, it just feels better to me because I've kind of grown up with it and reading it this way. So let me read from the very first words in the Bible. The first words in the Bible are these. In the beginning, God created. <laughs> Powerful words. In the beginning, God created. And God is, even though he spent the first six days of his, uh, uh, of, of, uh, in creation and he rested on the seventh does not mean that he he hasn't gone back to work on day eight <laughs> <laughs> and God started his relationship with us by creating and he continues by creating so with that let me read these words in the beginning God created the heavens and of course that included the earth <laughs> I added a little bit in there but it included the earth the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the earth and the spirit of god was hovering over the face of the waters then god said let there be light and there was light and god saw the light that it was good and god divided the light from the darkness and god called the light day and the darkness he called night so the evening and the morning for the first day. Then God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the, from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. So the evening and the morning were the second day. Then God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth and the gathered together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb that yields seeds and the fruit trees that yields fruit according to its kind whose seed it is it is in itself on the earth and it was so and the earth brought forth grass the herb that yields seed according to its kind and the tree that yields fruit whose seed is itself according to its kind god saw that it was good so the evening and the morning were the third day then God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night and let them be signs and seasons and days and years and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens and give light on the earth. And it was so. <laughs> then God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. 
He made the stars also. He set them in the firmament of the heavens. He gave the lights on the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide <coughs> the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And so evening and morning were the fourth day. Then God said, let the waters abound with the abundant of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that moves with which the waters abounded according to their kind and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. <coughs> and God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters of the sea and then let the birds multiply on the earth. So the evening and the morning were the fifth day. Then God said, let the earth bring forth the living creatures according to the kind, cattle and creeping things, beasts of the earth, each according to its kind, and it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to its kind, cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind, and God saw that it was good. And then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and every living thing that moves on the earth. Then God saw everything that he had made. And indeed, it was very good. So that's... It's beautiful. That's our, our reading for for this this evening and for this week. And uh, you know, I talk about creation for a lot of reasons. In there, we have the command from God for us to be responsible for this this planet that He He created just to put us on. Yep. He and and with that, He gave us the responsibility to make sure that we care for everything that is here. We have a responsibility to take dominion. It means to to uh, that means to be responsible for it, and so because of that, we need to we need to care and be environmentalists in every possible way because this planet is a very fragile thing, and uh, we are on a uh, you know we need to maintain this planet not only uh, for environmental reasons but for our own human existence reasons. And so anyway, uh, I wanna talk a little bit about national parks because one of the ways the United States has decided to protect uh, and take responsibility in, its, uh, in this calling of God to care for the earth is to create national parks. And what we have developed uh, is 59 national parks and last month the National Park Service celebrated its 100th anniversary and so we are very very honored uh, to be able to be in a country which which has taken responsibility in this fashion mm -hmm. so as a result we have 84 and a half million acres of land that we have set aside as national parks to preserve and to maintain uh, the beauty and the structure uh, of, its, of its original intent. Uh, and as a result of that, last year alone, there were 330 million visits to these parks. Uh, oh, now, cool. here, here's a question for you. What do you think is the most visited national park. I was surprised when I heard the answer. I thought for sure it'd be the Grand Canyon, but unfortunately, 
The Grand, if you're thinking the Grand Canyon, it's a good thought. I was thinking that. I'll bet I you thought that it, yes. too. Most people think it's mm -hmm. the Grand Canyon, mm -hmm. but it's a pale second to the number one. The number one is actually the Great Smoky Mountains with nine and a half million visits in a year. The second, is, the second is the Grand Canyon with 4.5. There are five wow. million visits behind the Great Smoky Mountains. Yosemite comes in third. And uh, because of our guest today, she'll have an interest in this one. Uh, <laughs> in a, another hint. <laughs> yeah, another hint. The Grand Tetons. They're way down on the list as number nine, unfortunately. <laughs> they, but they, they are magnificent. Oh, yes, I they love are. the Grand Tetons. What's the and number there? They are 2.6 million visitors to the Grand Tetons. Probably because they're so steep. It's hard to get up there. No, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, well, oh, well with that, I'm going to let you introduce our guest. Well, I have really quick, I have the updates because I don't want to be interrupted once we talk to our guests. So I'm just going to give us our ministry update quickly because there's a few significant changes since we met last month. I cannot believe how much our ministry has changed in just a month. A month um, oh, we working. forgot the little sign you printed out. Um, I'm go get it? If you can run back there, I'll read this and I think it's back in the... Um, so we changed the name from Vital uh, to Vital Living Monthly from the call and so everything's been rebranded Vital Living Weekly um, monthly, excuse me, daily, weekly, and monthly. This is monthly because we meet once a month in this fashion. Um, our inspirational videos launched three weeks ago. That's Vital Living Daily. They're only one to two minutes long. They're amazing. They're so powerful for only being one and a half minutes long. And you subscribe to Robert Schuler Ministries YouTube, and then you click alert so you'll know when they're loaded. They're loaded every single day, Monday through Friday, without fail, every day. So we have a daily podcast, we have a daily blog, and what you need to do is you need to go to drschuler.org, which launched, gosh, probably less than two months ago, and please, again, uh, con grow, uh, connect with us, sign up for our prayer community, it's all on there, and it's so exciting. Finally, after nine years we've been doing this, Robert Schuler Ministries, just he and I, finally, we have everything located in one place, everything we do, including my nutrition ministry, our helpline for drug and alcohol abuse, um, our Sunday morning vital living weekly church services. We have everything there. So we're so excited. And then Robert already mentioned the vital living weekly church, which is seen here on Facebook at 8 a.m. Uh, on Sundays, 8 a.m. Pacific, that is. Um, you will see some big changes. And uh, we're still tweaking it and figuring it all out with our. You we've know, got a lot of tweaking. We've got a lot do. of tweaking to do yet, but you're <laughs> going to see some. Po want, right? You're yeah. going to see some positive changes, and you know the idea is just to reach more people with the love of Jesus. Exactly. And so that's what we're doing. So stay tuned, and a couple more things since I'm getting real excited to introduce our guests. Um, we already said like and follow the Robert Schuler Ministries Facebook page. Tell your friends to do that. Oh, this is the last but not least. Our <laughs> podcast is now a daily podcast with the exception of Saturday, I think. Saturday, yes. And what, except well, there will be a Saturday today because it's the 15th. So we have a daily podcast Monday through Friday plus Sunday service. We are now on iTunes. We are on um, Buzzsprout, Google Play, Spotify, uh, Spreaker, Stitcher. I don't even know some of these apps. Potomatic and on Alexa. So if you have an Alexa, you can go into your kitchen, your living room, your office, wherever you have it, and say, Alexa, please play Robert Schuler Ministries podcast. So yes, we've been busy. And so what do they hear? Do they hear the daily? Do they hear the they hear weekly what's, or do they hear the monthly? They hear, it's in sequence. It's all okay. by date. So they just hear, and you've got to do an intro to that. So Robert will be doing okay. an intro. So, But I think you just do it, and we don't have an Alexa. So... But try it, okay? Try it out and let us know. Um, and Robert's preaching on creation. He already told you that. He's preached a message on planting, which was cool. Uh, mountains. And tomorrow is on sky, which yeah. just makes me go, ah, oh, it makes me think even more about our next guest. <laughs> so I want to read you a little bit. It's uh, really... you thinking of the Grand Teton. Uh, right now I am. You're thinking about our national I am just, parks. I am so much thinking about that. Um, so our next guest, this is really hard to kind of whittle down everything she does and everything she is. Um, she's one of our closest friends, she and her husband both. 
Um, she is a, a personality plus, and she's been a TV and is a TV personality and an actress. You know, it's funny, but she was discovered. Now, you're for sure, if you know who this is, you're going to know who I'm going to introduce when I give you this hint. She was discovered by Oprah Winfrey after just one cock a doodle do and I can't even try to do it. We're going to make her do it tonight. And a bunch of other, and a bunch of other really weird well, sounds maybe she, she makes. She doesn't want to. Well, she might have to. <laughs> um, and as an audience member, she was there and Oprah Winfrey got discovered and then her career just took off. Um, she was in The Princess Diaries. She and her husband dipped into the reality TV world when they appeared on and they competed on Gilligan's Island. I won't tell you who won. She can tell you if she wants. Uh, Mindy was the entertainment anchor and reporter for the KTL a morning show for six years and she's also i've seen her host the ktla evening news um and she also has, has hosted entertainment nightly you know there's so much more i can say about her i want to mention a little bit about her awards she's recently named woman of the year by california state's 70th district assemblyman don wagner uh, mindy cerns has earned the title through her tireless efforts to support and bring awareness to various charity organizations throughout Southern California, and I would guess now Wyoming. Uh, Mindy, along with her husband, Glenn, founded the Stearns Family Charitable Foundation and the Lives Changing Lives Gala, which we've gone to every single year. Um, I think you've given the invocation at least once. Um, and it was the premier charity here in Orange County, raising close to $4 million in four years. Uh, Mindy is still seen regularly. She's bringing attention to the arts and cultural events in Orange County on PBS's um, Southern California's Real Orange. So in addition to being named Woman of the Year, Mindy's been recognized as Sropness International, Woman of Distinction. Um, she and Glenn have both just received amazing awards. They're very, very generous, very philanthropic. They're beautiful, wonderful people. Um, I could go on and on, but you know what? I want to talk to her, so I am not going to. Oh, and the most important thing right now for our subject, she is a newly appointed go. board member there to our go. National Park Foundation. Yeah. Yes, and yeah. so we are going to talk to Mindy Stearns. Are you there, Mindy? Oh, she's a she's a really beautiful brunette, and that's not me. and you know what? Yeah, I forgot. I forgot your most important role. You're a mommy. She's been um, she gave birth oh. to two beautiful girls, and you know what's weird? Are they nine and twelve? I couldn't figure out. I'm like, I think they're nine and twelve. Nine, twelve right now. Yep. I'm facing a teenager. Oh, we've done it four times. Yes. And. Have. <laughs> yep, yep. Yep. So, you know, we have a. I have been here, as I speak with you, I am sitting here looking at the sun setting over the Grand Teton. Oh, yes! That's the view out my window. I am looking at the Grand Majestic Mountains, and the sun is on the back side of it, and it's just ending the day in this beautiful fall day in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Pretty up here. It sure is. Well, that's why I thought you'd want to know that statistic. It's the it's the ninth most visited uh, national park in our in our country. So, and goodness, I don't doubt it. That's why we sometimes head out in the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, absolutely. And we, you know, we've had. We've had you on the call before, you and Glenn both, and the last time you were on the call, we were actually with you in your beautiful home in Jackson, Wyoming, looking at the Grand Tetons. What was, was that three or four years ago? I didn't have yes. time to look that up. <laughs> three or four years ago, Robert says, yes. Yeah, it's yeah. been a while. It's been a while. So, But we've seen each other since. celebrating all the parks and nature. I, you know, I wake up every day and I look out at this. I have had more photos on my on more photos on my phone of this landscape than probably anywhere I've ever <laughs> Just every day, God makes a masterpiece, and I am trying to capture it as best I can on my iPhone. Well, I see a lot of them because I see them on your social media accounts. They're beautiful; like they look fake. Yes. Well, I, I like the ones where. I like I like the ones where the the moose come up to your house and, yeah. and the elk <laughs> and that kind of a thing. Yes, yes. We have had moose, bear, elk, and wolf. I had a wolf in the backyard. Oh, a wolf? I didn't hear about that. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, it was a late night visitor in my Newfoundland 
thank yeah. goodness was had a chain on and, and was giving us a start but he the wolf just was right across the little pond and Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, you just never know. We've got coyotes trying to you know, we have a hundred and eighty pounds of the land and he's gonna he makes sure everybody knows business oh my gosh well can you tell us i have a few questions for you we both do um can you tell us a little bit about your board appointment i know it's a brand new appointment for you when does it start when are some of your responsibilities and then we want to hear about the fundraiser for the national parks uh, with regal well, theaters and coca-cola you know, tell us whatever you want about that it's so interesting this is i am probably most excited about this than anything i any organization only because it's non-political it's mm -hmm. non-partisan it's <laughs> yes. it really like with the public health service but, and the, park, the national parks it's not something uh oh uh, we're, we're losing you there Mindy Mindy you're cutting out a little bit no no no, no. you know what I'm going to do I'm going to call you right back on my landline okay okay We'll entertain the folks okay. while you're off here. <laughs> okay. Let me just do that right Absolutely. Now. Okay. Right okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mindy. Thank you. So, you know, one of the things that would be really, really helpful that all of you can do, whenever you see one of our daily posts, that we, do, we have these five posts a week, uh, a video, uh, we, I think of them as a daily devotional. Uh, if you find one that you like, anytime you find it, Share it with your Facebook friends and let it, and ask them to share it, and that will Please. make a huge difference as far as letting people know what we're doing. If this call is helpful to you, uh, share it on this from this Facebook page with your Facebook friends. And if you're listening on, by, by if you're listening on phone and you know people who who like who would like a okay here I am okay an, an mp3 then then download it for them and let them listen to that as well okay Mindy's back hi there I'm back I apologize for that oh that's I okay the, um, I need to talk to my cell provider to provide <laughs> better cell service yes you do <laughs> we you know what we turn ours what we have our cell on and our internet on our phones uh, we have to go back and forth we are we're forever having that problem we can't cut off yeah so. you know what it's just and just you know is. I don't mind. I, no. What I love about, no. actually, what I really enjoy about Yellowstone National Park, which we are so close to, and we've been up probably 20 times or more since we've wow. been here, that you, once you get into the park, there's no cell service. You just oh, get to enjoy nature. That's and wonderful. You put the phones down, mm -hmm. and they look outside, <laughs> and they enjoy like I used to do when I was a kid. Right. In the park. You just look at outside, and you don't miss, and you look up, and there's been discussion about making more connectivity within the parks, but I think it's, you know, because that's the world we live in, and, you know, with many of the campaigns we're doing to try to create more awareness, you want to be able to take your picture and Snapchat it and Instagram it and Facebook it and whatever. Right. So, I mean, I know there's some conversations, but, you know, there are spots within the park that have real good cell signals, but, you know, when you're in nature, I think you just should fully embrace it and enjoy it. So, anyway. Well, yeah. there's no reason why people can't do that after they leave the park, right? That's yeah, it. that's true. Exactly. That's they should true. take their pictures that's and post them later, back at the hotel right. or back and at home. They get into their signal, mm -hmm. so, yes. Um, I, I, it's, it's kind of one of those double-edged swords because mm -hmm. we're such an instant nation of now. Let's do it now. Post it now. See it now. Yes. Share now. Right. And having that access when you're in the park also allows the, the more you know the word to get out about where people are and, and mm -hmm. create more awareness and create more visual um, representation. The other side of it is, okay, they're already, they're crowded enough. We don't need, you know, we want more yes. people, but it's like, let's just enjoy it and, and and be present in the moment and enjoy all of God's incredible masterpiece that's it, right before you, before the cell phone. Absolute, okay. Absolutely. Well, you have, you know, you haven't always, you were an Orange County girl for a while. I know you still spend a lot of time here, but... You were raised in Portland, Oregon, so you've been outdoorsy person basically your whole life. I know that about you, right? You know what, Donna? I grew up. My dad, my mom, my parents probably instilled the greatest uh, love for parks mm -hmm. as a child. My father mm -hmm. worked in the National in the Forest Service in college and dental school, and um, so when when we were young, we had a little tiny cabin on the Zigzag River, and we would go every weekend, and we'd be out playing in the waters. We'd be hiking. Mount Hood, oh, so awesome. in Jefferson Wilderness, 
but we, we, I just, I developed and cultivated a very deep appreciation and love for nature and looking at the stars and big trees and the smell of pine and everything mm-hmm. natural. Oh, so mm-hmm. this was a very exciting appointment when Secretary Zinke uh, confirmed my position on the board. It was a, it was a big deal for me, a it, real, a real honor. It is absolutely exciting. So tell us a little so bit about when this. It, when do you oh, start yeah. then? Well, we just we just had I just had a first board meeting um, recently. I was not able to attend for health reasons. We had some health uh, challenges, mm-hmm. and our next one is uh, coming up in October in Yosemite. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, good. One of the other most beautiful parks. Yes. yes. You know, Amazing. So we'll be there. But it's, what's exciting is we do we meet within the park. I've been to a meeting in uh, Grand Canyon National Park. We you know, we try to always meet in a national park, so we are surrounded by what we are protecting, mm-hmm. and it's always inspiring to walk within, you know, the, the parks and see how they are. You know, we are, I was mentioning before, the National Park Service, what I love about it, it's, it's a philanthropic arm of the National Park Service, so we are, okay. we, we do not manage the parks, we have private uh, donors who put support programs to create education and awareness and campaigns to get more interest in the park. We help support the National Park Service and what they're doing and their efforts to, you know, for maintenance and, 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 and build. We, we, we go to Capitol Hill every spring and we sit down with every congressman and every politician and talk to them and make sure that the parks, national parks are on the top of their mind and that they are considering them when they're allocating funds. Great. And, you know, when they're voting for measures to protect and preserve. And uh, it's, it's a group of very big park enthusiasts, enthusiasts who really love the park and want to preserve, protect it for future generations. And so, you know, they're raising, raising so much money and it goes directly into these programs. And I don't know if you knew this, but every, every fourth grader in the United States is allowed a free admission into the park. So, no. If kids around ten years old, around ten years old, any fourth grade class can visit national parks free of charge. There's no. That's there's good. No admission fee. That's yeah, great. They, they really want that age is such an impressionable mm-hmm. age that you know to get them into the park. You know, there's hashtag find your parks and there's things where you could just um, get these kids in with the teachers. There's many field trips. Just getting that grade out into the park is just such a strong. Um, such a strong imprint that it leaves on them at, at 10 years old. Thank so, you. Thank you for tell, Thank you for sharing that. So, how can we help with that? I know that there's some sort of a uh, program you're you're creating with Regal Theaters and Coca Cola as the sponsor. And is this sort well, that's of kind of exciting? The, yeah. Just we are. We have corporate sponsors that we do. Mm-hmm. Um, we just recently had something with Nature Valley, who did the Hike a Million Miles Challenge for the summer, where you downloaded an application. I downloaded that. <laughs> oh, did you really? Yeah. yeah. Well, see, yeah. And if the users logged a million miles, Nature Valley would donate, you know, like 250000 They would match the mile. They would donate wow. to the park. So it was a very exciting, very successful campaign. And um, recently, right now, we are partnering with um, Coca-Cola, Regal Cinemas, and Zantara. So if you visit a Regal Cinema we did today. across the country, over <laughs> through the month, what's that? We did today. <laughs> a couple hours well, ago. There you go. Well, there's, there's popcorn tubs and their fountain beverage cup featuring the National Park Foundation logo. And it's a, a put yourself in park quick fix. So now through the 27th of December, customers, they, you, know, you, you scan a sip and scan icon mm-hmm. on a fountain cup and it unlocks a 360 degree national park experience and enters you in a chance to win a trip to the Oasis Resort in Death Valley ah. and other prizes. So. It's kind of exciting. So you go to the movies, you can support the parks, and you can win a really great trip to, you know, Death Valley, which is also a place I visited as a child and loved my experience there. Well, that's so good to know. There are so ways to support it. Well, thank you. Thank yeah, you. And you know what? People can get. The, the thing is, you know, I go out there and, and I, I will post things on my Facebook. But this year, I, I am turning 50 this year. Yes. <laughs> Hard to believe. Isn't that coming up uh, in a couple yeah, months? Yeah, really soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's September 29th. Is yep. The D-Day. Oh. Yeah. Yep. It's coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Her, her celebration I is later. I am, I am half the age of our 
our national park system. Yes, you are. Oh, you're, you're just an infant. <laughs> yep, you're catching up with us. You're, you're catching up with us. No, <laughs> I'd like to think, ha ha. So I launched a little campaign on my Facebook page to donate to the national park in honor of my yes, Good. I think so that's I good. Like, hey, I, I, why not? I, I mean, it's, it's just, why not? And, you know, just, I think education is key. I, and, and any dollar, one dollar to a thousand dollars, you know, every little dollar helps education and I think it's, it's so important when you think of um, um, the reason the parks were, were created, people that had a vision for the park. I mean, I, President Teddy Roosevelt, he says we have fallen heirs to the most glorious heritage of people ever received and each one must do his part if we wish to show that the nation is worthy of its good fortune. Like We That's can't wonderful. let our parks go and we have to Yes, we do. We have to protect yes. it. And everything that grows in them, everything that habitates there, everything that, you know, there's, like Robert read earlier in the Bible, that we're given dominion, but dominion doesn't mean that we can destroy them and have power over them. We're supposed to respect and honor these creatures and these plants and beautiful surroundings that God has provided for us. So, Well, it's power, good to be power means responsibility. Mm -hmm. It means that if yeah. if you have power over somebody, you're you're responsible for them, and if you have power over 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 that, uh, which if God gives you power over the over the earth, you're responsible for it. And we are definitely a, a human race responsible for our planet by God. That responsibility was given to us by God, mm -hmm. and uh, so this so what you're doing is so critical. And uh, we're so grateful that uh, you're part of this, Mindy. Um, a, a couple weeks ago, I, I talked about mountains and my creation series. And one of the things I did is I, I, I referred to mountains as the, the challenges that we face in life and, and the, the struggles we have to overcome. I know, I know your family has been struggling with some challenges lately. Do you want to, do you wish to sh share any of that? Yeah, no, I don't have a, yeah, sure. Well, my my husband um, was diagnosed four years ago with a squamous cell tongue oh, cancer, yes. and um, it has been a challenge for four years, but he got through it, and we were really very strong until this March when we were hit again with mm -hmm. a recurrence that that showed up unexpectedly, and it, was, it had moved to his epiglottis, and um, by the grace of God and modern medicine, Four years ago, we didn't have the um, advent of immunotherapy treatments, which are now being FDA approved. Mm -hmm. So he was able to enroll in a clinical trial, in a very promising clinical trial, and it has shown incredible results with um, shrinking his tumor, reversing the tumor, and in, you know in, engaging in the immune system to fight the cancer. And he, we've had an incredible result. So, but Great. you know, with with health challenges come life challenges mm -hmm. and as amazingly miraculous medicine is there's still the every day of one step at a time and healing and overcoming and the psychological aspect of dealing with illness and you know your mortality so to speak right it's a very eye-opening experience we have been we have felt blessed beyond measure the friends and family that have come out and you know it just opens our eyes to the beauty around us because you reckon your, your, your moments on this earth are so fleeting and so short-lived and that's right you know the little moments that we, we make such a big moment are not when you look at the grand scheme of our time here and when we were able to come back to Jackson and be in this mountain air and look upon the grandeur of these mountains and the sky and the bald eagles it just <laughs> it's life-giving and that has really allowed him to heal and 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 it's been a real special experience for us so that's the that's the right now. that's the real stuff right mindy family and appreciating your gifts you know and just being with one another and i think you know what i heard you saying is you know there's too many people that sweat the small stuff i mean don't sweat the small stuff in life there's enough big stuff out there and just be grateful and thankful for every single day. Yeah, the fact is life is very, very fragile. Every day is a gift. So every day we get, 
It's a time for us to give thanks to God for giving us breath that day. And um, so the good news is that that God has given uh, Glenn um, more days. Yep. <laughs> and, and we thank God for that. And uh, he's answering our prayers. We pray for him and, and for your family yes, every do. day. And we want to thank you for being our guest today. It's, uh, it's Shall we see if there's any questions? Mindy, do you have a, just a few more minutes? We'll see if there's here. anybody no, that... Sure, okay, no. we'll I'm, I'm happy. Okay, we, we try to, we're trying to get this to about 45 minutes from start to finish. So we've got a few minutes left. And I want to just see if there's anybody that has any questions. Um, we can actually see... Um, yeah. The screen, too, because now we're, we're putting it closer to us. Exactly. I'll go ahead and turn on the um, question and answer here, too. If there's anybody Q on... Q&A session started. Yeah, that's always nice to listen to her voice. Yeah, exactly. But, <laughs> well, we, um, we rarely get questions. Yeah, but we rarely. Might. And if you're listening on Facebook, you can post the question. We can read it. You can see we're much closer to the screen yes. now. Yes. So... Um, so we and can, on the call, can, you just push um, star six, and then you'll, you'll be on my computer screen here and I'll see but we'll just give you a few minutes to see if anybody has any questions no, we'll give them a few seconds a few seconds okay there you go Robert <laughs> well, you know, real was, um, looking at a little fun interesting fact did you know that Delaware is the only state in the U.S. that does not have a national park in it I saw that but the only one every other state has a park <laughs> which I thought that was wow. interesting and Delaware yeah but, um, and thank goodness for Abraham Lincoln who used the power of the office start the conversation, conversation conservation campaign so oh that's good i did not know that yeah and, and and in spite of his act to have the campaign that you know the right to protect yosemite there was this this prospector named james hutchings who hmm. squatted in yosemite and immediately began exploiting it he bought a hotel and oh. made plans for a sawmill in yosemite the tr oh. trees were nightmare. Oh, no. So, I John Muir, yeah. yeah, so lucky <laughs> for us, John Muir was the gentleman who ran the mill, and he is called the original Lorax and the Tree Whisper, and he loved the land, wow. and uh, he figured that his interests were purely for profit, and he was very integral in, in helping enact that, and he, his quote says, everybody needs beauty as well as bread, places to play in and pray in. Wow. Where nature may heal and give strength to body and soul alike. I love That's that. That's what our puppets are. I do too. Boy, with that, I think uh, I think we say good good night to you. And, well, it's for this for giving us your time. Yes, Pretend. thank you so much, Robert. Has yeah, one I more. Have. Thanks for doing your part. Thank you. Hey. The word, love, we and love you, it. Mindy. We love you lots. And and love you you, you and Glenn. I have to say for Glenn too. Man, never have you met two warmer more encouraging more positive people and they're going to continue to climb those mountains physically and allegorically for a long long time because they've got the right attitude and we appreciate that in you and that's why we're close friends so we love you lots Thank thanks for Thank being you, on Mindy. here all right Thank okay you guys. Well, love you guys okay. love you too, love you too. Bye. bye 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 well this is a this is a church service and uh, so we've read, we've read the Bible, we've prayed, we've, had, uh, we've talked about the, the scripture, we've incorporated it into our testimony time. And, um, and part, of, part of a church service is to, to collect an offering. <laughs> and so if you wish to make a donation to this ministry, you can click up the donate button. And this is an opportunity for you to give your, your tithes and your offerings. And uh, so you can, you can simply click on the donate button on our Facebook, or you can go to the drschuler.org website. You can donate there, or if you want to do it the uh, the traditional way and actually mail a check, you can do that by writing to Robert Schuler Ministries at 218 Bay Point Drive. 2128, not 218. <laughs> I, I, I guess I you I, skipped over it. You know I, it. You 21, <laughs> 28. <laughs> Not 218, 2128, 2128 Bay Point Drive, Newport Beach, California, 92660. And um, if you have some prayer requests, if you want tickets to heaven, if you want to, if you want to communicate with us, you can send emails to us at uh, Robert at 
robertschulerministries.org or to Donna mm -hmm. at robertschulerministries.org. So, um, and we do answer our own emails and we answer all of our own prayer requests, the, the prayer requests that come in. Nobody does that for us. We don't have a staff. So you'll know that if you have something personal and uh, confidential to share with us, we keep it that way and nobody else will see that. So, um, yeah, I just want to encourage you there. Oh, I see something there going out of the path of the hurricane, Robert. Oh, yes. We prayed for that a little while ago. We started that We started prayer. that way. Thank you very much. We started our, our service that way, praying for you know, prayers of thanksgiving and still prayers of safety for people that are, you know, for property and, and people that are returning soon and for the waters to recede and for no more rain. And the power to come back on. So, just yeah, a lot of absolutely. So all of that. So why don't we um, just go ahead and close now and so it's okay. So let's just let's just have a moment of prayer and then we'll we'll be on our way. Dear Heavenly Father, we we thank you for uh, for what you're doing in the lives in our lives right now. <clears throat> we pray for those who are struggling with with you know, on the East Coast and and and, and struggling with the, the the floods and the winds and the lo loss of power. We pray that for those who have lost loved ones, uh, the, the, the lives that have been lost because of the hurricane, the lives that have been lost because of cancer, the lives that have been lost because of heart failure, the lives that have been lost across America and whose families are grieving today. Bring them mm -hmm. peace, Lord. We, we pray that you'll just continue to give us a, the, the real, realization that today is a gift. And so we thank you, Lord, for this. And that the only thing we ever take with us, with us is that which we give away. <laughs> and so <Yes. laughs> we thank you, Lord, and we praise your name forever and always. Amen. So we want to thank you for listening to Vital Living Monthly, yep. for listening to the call. And uh, this will be posted on our podcast. It'll be posted on Facebook, and then it'll be downloaded and, and podcasts I already mentioned. You can get our podcast almost anywhere now. So um, anyway, we thank you for joining us and please tune in. 15th of next month, we'll have another interesting guest and if another the, interesting if subject. If it's the 15th of the month, if it's 6 p.m. Pacific time. It's time for Vital it's Living time for you to Monthly. Make a call. Okay. It's time for you to part, join us. God bless you, everybody. Yes. God loves you and so do we. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah, I felt bad because we needed, I talked about it and we printed it. You did it backwards and we left, you left it back there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I, try, I was going to go and get it, but I know. I'm tried in. If I this would, if I, if I would have okay. got one I know. that but unplugged, I know. And I you're like, the one that was unplugged, I, I got it. It's okay. It was just, no, no worries. Um, no worries.